We're here on the corner of Manchester, Vermont in Los Angeles. Um, we just got through having a few hundred people touching and agreeing, joining hands because of what's taking place here in this community. This street is called Death Alley. And today we've claimed it and we're going to rename this street because of the people who have come here touching and agreeing and believing that God is going to make a change in this community. I cannot be comfortable or, 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 or complacent when it comes down to the deaths that are taking place in this community. I've heard from too many mothers and fathers who children have died on these streets. We cannot get complacent. We cannot get comfortable with turning on the TV station and listening to the witness to the news telling us the young people that have died on these streets. And today we're saying we can fund law enforcement to its fullest capacity, but that still won't change. It's the community coming together, locking arms, asking God to come in and make a change along with everything else that we're doing. And so today was a day to declare uh, that kind of um, atmosphere um, change in this community. Spread out as far as you can go. Because we want to cover as much ground of Vermont as we possibly can. And then I need people that you're holding hands with. This is where the intercessor comes in at. I need somebody whose hand that you're holding. I want you to start praying right now. And it was heartwarming for me to have so many clergy come out and pastors come out and join in to pray with us, to pray with our community, um, locking hands with us on this particular purpose because they have to be the ones who give the eulogy over the young people who have lost their lives at their church and we're saying and declaring again we're declaring war on war that exists in our community and that's the war uh, against drugs against violence against murder and things of that nature and we're saying enough is enough we're declaring peace right now in the streets in this community this is not enough we're going to continue to do this until we drive down the statistics until that murder and homicide in this community and is at its all-time low in this community. We can, again, continue to put and throw resources and money to the problem, but until we invoke people to come out of their doors, to come out of their houses and lockstep with us and say enough is enough, this will continue on. But I declare that this is not going to continue on from this day forward.